The Sims 4 is basically broken right now. Nobody can access the game. It doesn't work. Specifically, people who use the EA app on PC. For once, console players actually win. <laughs> so if you have the game on PC, you might get this error, game not installed. You might also get it saying that it's repairing, but it actually gets stuck and it doesn't repair. Now, for those of you who do play using the EA app, there may be a fix. If you click the three dots up here and click go off, offline you and then yes yeah, sure you may be able to play it but when I try and play the sims 4 offline it basically freezes and it doesn't work doesn't do anything so it is temperamental and may work for some may work for others I just think this whole thing about like always online play is such a dumb idea it was literally the thing that killed off sim city another one of EA's biggest most successful gaming franchises and they killed it off thanks to the always online play thing and now EA doing the same thing with the sims 4 it's just bizarre to me like do you remember when video games was just like a disc that you put in your PC and then you double click the icon and then it turned on. Now you need the internet to play video games. It's just so bizarre to me. If The Sims 4 had like a massively online features, then it would make sense for it to require to always be online to play. But the game literally doesn't have like that many multiplayer features other than the gallery, which, you know, the galleries are not that deep. So there's not really any reason why the game should be always online. I don't know if this is EA's way of checking to make sure that you're not downloading the game on multiple PCs. Well, no, because there is another thing. It basically counts, EA, the app counts how many PCs you have the game downloaded on. So that can't be it. I just find it so strange. Surely there just, you know, surely there must just be a better way of going about it so this problem doesn't happen. I heard somebody say once EA is the McDonald's of video gaming companies. <laughs> I actually totally agree. I just don't think it's acceptable that a video game that is an offline game, a single player experience doesn't work because you're required to be online. The Sims Direct Communications, which is supposed to be a space for them to give us, you know, live status updates about the game. They haven't even spoken about this issue, even though many people have complained. EA Play have also not mentioned this issue. And it's bizarre to me because this is literally like a major critical issue. It's literally major. People cannot play the game at all. And they're not even acknowledging it. Like what the bloody hell? And it's been happening for so many hours like what's going on is somebody in the office just sitting there going oh, it's not my job <laughs> like why is nobody at least acknowledging it promptly I'm sure it will probably get acknowledged eventually or they'll acknowledge it once it's fixed maybe but why haven't they acknowledged it promptly to show that they're working on it it's just such a crazy lack of communication with the sims 4 they've always been so terrible at communication it's literally crazy it's funny because when EA moved from the origin app to the EA play app it was supposed to be like a better version it was supposed to deal with all of the annoying issues the funny thing is though like the EA Play app genuinely has just as many issues as Origin I mean the original Origin issues most of them are gone but it still has a significant amount of issues even very basic things okay like for example when you scroll through the Play Store you'll see that it's slightly kind of laggy and it's not smooth like they haven't even like implemented smooth scrolling on their bloody scroll reel yet and this has been an issue ever since Origin first came out. EA's apps are honestly insidiously terrible. I think all of these like game launches are really annoying. I play a lot of games with launches, but I would definitely say the EA app is the worst one for basically being so buggy. EA is a multi-billion dollar company. I am holding them accountable. I just feel like EA is so bad at making games. <laughs> how have they got like so big? Do you know what I mean? Like how did that happen? This is basically a speed run of reasons for EA to never put me in their EA Game Changer program so I'll never get the Sims 4 packs for free. Oops, Daisy. At least I'm being honest. Also, I've just been checking my Twitter notifications as well and it seems like people are still having the issue. Somebody said they're already online in the game but the issue I have, which I know many other people have had, is they repaired the game and because I repaired the game, it's basically stuck on repairing so you can't do anything about it. As you can see, I did tag in EA The Sims as direct an EA Play saying please fix your app so if you have Twitter please retweet this or at least tweet them yourself so they actually know what's happening otherwise how on earth are they gonna know I mean for all we know they already know maybe they don't already know who knows because they have no transparency it's honestly such a nightmare because I was genuinely planning on like making some sims videos today me playing the sims I was gonna record I won't tell you what the video is because I don't want to reveal it but I was planning on recording a 
a really fun video that I've been looking forward to recording for ages and I haven't been able to do it, which is really annoying. And it's not just me to create a recording video. It's like you guys also as players, I see so many comments from people being like, I really wanted to play The Sims 4 today, but I just can't play it because the EA app won't let me. So it seems like it's causing a lot of commotion. Although this seems to be just an issue with The Sims 4. It seems like none of the other EA games are having this issue as far as I'm aware anyway. When I looked at the EA app problems, it seemed like it was only The Sims 4 that was having an issue. Although me just saying that, a popular CC creator just uploaded this on Twitter, suggesting that their EA app won't show up anything. But it seems like most of the recent posts are just talking about The Sims 4. And yes, okay, there are two things to address. Firstly, my black phallic microphone broke. So now I've got a white phallic microphone because apparently Amazon don't sell black ones anymore, which is crazy. I couldn't really change it for a newer upgraded microphone, which is what I really wanted to do. I had to basically replace it with the same thing, but they didn't have the same thing. So I've got it in white. I just think it looks a bit weird in white. Do you know what I mean? I don't like it. Once you go black, you never go back. <laughs> Second thing I need to address, yes, I have glasses now. My eyes were a little bit messed up. So now I feel like they make my eyes look a lot bigger. I don't really like it. I got some, um, do you want to see? I got some Hugo Boss ones. Genuinely really like them. I don't think glasses really suit my face as a person, but I like, I don't like the idea of wearing contact lenses. I, I could not be bothered to do that every single day. What a load of rubbish. So I just chuck these on my face. I've also got some like extreme eyes eye drops because my eyes are literally like so broken right now. Hopefully they'll get better soon and hopefully the EA app will also get better soon. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future updates. I will see you in the next one.